Welcome back to another little bit of Lisp. This time I just wanted to introduce the fact that Common Lisp supports multi-dimensional arrays. Okay, so if we look at our code up here, we can see that we have a couple of variables. Uh, we're just going to look at a0 first. So let's bring that up. a0 is a multi-dimensional array. It's what happens when you pass make array a list of numbers rather than just one. Recall that if we do make array with like 10, we get an array of te uh, with 10 elements. But if we pass in a list, we get a, an array which is two by four elements. So you can see two of these, each with four elements in them. Um, to access these values, we still use a ref, so we can use a zero here. And let's pick zero and zero. Of course, the value in there is zero. Let's set it, which works just the same as normal as well. So we're gonna set that element to 10. Let's set another element do one and three and we'll set that to 20. Now let's look at a again and you can see that we've modified these values here. Notice also that we have this syntax for writing uh, multi-dimensional array literals. So hash 2a and then these values. You can see this here as well written out in other forms. So this is another two by four um, multi-dimensional array. Uh, where the first four elements, the elements in the first subsection are 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then we've got 10, 20, 30, and 40. And if I do this, you can see, oh, that's a value from another episode. That's the one we were looking for. Okay, yet another multi-dimensional array. All we wanted to talk about this time was the fact that these exist and that you can use a ref um, to access and set the values using multiple subscripts rather than just a single one. And we'll go into some more detail on other things we can do with multi-dimensional arrays in future. Thanks for stopping by.